Hello. So today we're going to show you how to do an ear wrap. Uh, today we're going to be doing it on a Doberman, but uh, this is basically the basics on uh, how to do a wrap. So what we use here is um, tongue depressors, cotton, cotton rolls, white porous tape. Don't try to use any other tape like uh, duct tape or anything that's not, that's not good. It has a porous texture to it. So we're going to start by making the wraps first. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to wrap the tongue depressor in the cotton. You don't want to wrap too much, just enough to get it padded and fit into the ear so it's not hard when it goes into the ear. Now when I'm making the tape, we're going to make this with the sticky side on the outside as I'm rolling it, just like this. That's going to stick inside the dog's ear when you place it in. So just like that. Sticky side on the outside. And you'll do the same thing for your other wraps for the other side of the ear. So here we have a dog here. There's a Doberman. And when you place these, these wraps inside the ear, you want to go all the way in. Don't be afraid of going all the way in because when the dog shakes its head, you don't want the bottom piece to, to pop out. So I've got it placed here. When you wrap the ears, you want to go in this direction because when they stand their ears up, it's gonna, it's gonna, you want it to, to go in that direction. So from the back to front, pinching it off at the front. You guys don't want to go too tight because that can also cut off circulation. So I'm doing it firm, just, just tight enough all the way up. all the way up. After I'm done, what I usually do is pick up the ear and I put more support at the bottom and this is up to you guys how much how much you want to do but you can kind of feel it like so that's one side so we're going to do the other side the same way. So now we have both of the, uh, the wraps in place. Now what you want to do is I guess people call it like a bridge or whatever you want to call it. I like to put it at the bottom. So I'm just gonna bridge it across the bottom. And pinch the middle together. Some people put it at the top, but a lot of times when dogs have these wraps in their ears, they like to take the, the paws and rip them out. So that's why I don't put them at the top, I throw at the bottom. It's less likely for them to get it out. That's how you have your ear wraps. And also you want to keep these wraps in for at least five days, but no longer than five days. After you take them out, wait at least four to five days to let the ear drop or dry out before wrapping them again. That's how you, you do an ear wrap.